Go get in your crate. Great house. Come on, Newman. Yeah. Come on. That's awesome. Great. Tell me about the crate and why it's got so many locks on it. The house is so big that if we don't lock the door, he can actually push the front of the crate door open and get out. It breaks my heart to have to put him in the crate like that every day when the other dogs can stay out. When I leave Hoss uncrated, he gets into the kitchen cabinets. He's pulled out all the spices, peanut butter, coffee canisters, uh, anything that he can get a hold of. These are the bungee cords that we keep on the upper cabinets in case Hoss gets out, just to be safe. Where, he knows where the peanut butter is up here. So you couldn't trust him leaving him alone outside of his crate? We don't think so. I want to see if Hoss's behavior really is separation anxiety. So I've set up cameras in the house so that I can observe Hoss's behavior when he thinks he's alone. I want you to get in your car and leave, and I'm just going to sit with my monitor and watch. Sounds good. Separation anxiety manifests itself in a number of ways, and I wanted to see if Hoss had any of the signals, scratching at the door, whining, barking, maybe foaming at the mouth, pacing up and down. Looks like they're searching for something. This does not look like an anxious dog to me. He's taking stuff out of the drawer. This is a dog that is taking every chance he can get when his owners are away. And this is fun. He can stretch up there and he can get that peanut butter out in a second. Wow. I don't know where Hoss is taking that peanut butter and I don't want him to eat it or ingest any of the plastic. I better get back in there. I wanted to go back inside the house to take it away from him. Can I have that? And after I did that, he chilled out and was perfectly happy. This dog is not displaying separation anxiety. You work for Waimarana Rescue? I okay. am the president and founder of oh, the yeah. Waimarana Rescue, yes. All right. And how many, how many times a day do you walk them? Rarely. Rarely. I'm a little dumbfounded with someone who seems to know Weimaranas very well. These dogs were bred to work. And the, the number one thing these dogs need, more than anything else, is exercise, 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 and as much exercise as you can possibly give them. They don't get walked. I mean, these dogs are the highest energy dogs you can have. I know. They're a working breed, and they don't get out at all. Except in the backyard to play. To have four in a house and not exercise them ever? No wonder. And then you've got Hoss, mischievous. Now, I don't think Hoss is suffering from separation anxiety. He's a bored, unstimulated dog trying to find ways to relieve that boredom. And he's doing it. When you break it down and you see how many dogs you've got and the problems you've got. This is huge. Why don't we hold him back? You go and hide somewhere so he can find you and lots of treats and praise when he does. OK, here okay. you go. Hoss! Go we'll find Mama. Come here, Hoss! Where's Mommy, Hoss? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a search and rescue dog. Hoss has been earmarked as the dog that suffers from separation anxiety, but he's not suffering from separation anxiety. He's suffering from mischief and destructiveness from boredom. Hoss! Good boy. Good boy. Hoss, come here. Come here, sweet boy. For the next few days, owners Debbie and Todd will carry on the training without Victoria, and she has a schedule to help them. And in the morning, Todd, you want to do the walks. Then in the evening, Todd, you're doing the feeding. But then you both 
take the dogs for a walk. Again, a minimum of 20 minutes. If you can do more, fantastic. At the weekends, I want you to do a minimum of two hours, either field training or just swimming, walking in the woods. You know that that's what the dogs love. This training is all about Todd and Debbie getting out with their dogs. And if they don't do it, their dog's behavior will not improve. I guarantee that. All right, well, let's go for a walk. Day one without Victoria, and Todd's keen to stick to the schedule. That's OK, see? Just another dog. First, Sky. Come on, let's go in. Then the other dogs get their morning exercise. <laughs> and in the evening, get the poop bags. Todd and Debbie get theirs, too. Good boy. Let's go. Ugh. The next day, Debbie and Todd up the ante. On the way to the lake, our first road trip with all four dogs. And take the dogs out for a little bit of fun. Here they come. Here's Newman, and Hoss, and Yafit, and God, happy as pigs in slop. Now that Haas is exercised, Victoria wants to repeat an earlier experiment. I'd like you to go away in your car for about 30 minutes. I'm going to be down by the roadside looking at a monitor just to see what Haas does. During Victoria's observation, an uncrated Haas caused chaos in the kitchen. I wanted to test to see if Haas was going to be destructive after exercise. Half an hour later, Debbie and Todd return to see the difference. There's Hoss just laying down. There's been no going into the kitchen at all. Exercising Hoss before has broken Hoss's ritual of behavior. He didn't go into the kitchen. He couldn't care less. I think the more exercise Hoss gets, the less destructive he'll become. I see how it has affected Hoss. It seems like the exercise has worked, so right. that's the plan, was to exercise them more, and, and obviously it helps. And they're going to get it, all of them. 